At night, while assisting his new quartermaster, Artia was approached by a young warrior from the northern lands. His axe had been damaged in battle, the haft badly splintered. When Partia offered the young man a new axe, the man smiled and shook his head. Just a wooden haft, please, my lord. I shall do the rest. This axe has been in my family since my grandfather's time. My grandfather was a farmer and he used it for chopping wood. I use it to chop down men. Perhaps my son will use it to chop wood once again. Its head has been replaced several times, its haft has been replaced several times, but it is still the same axe. A smile passed Partia's lips. A curious perspective, he thought, as his glance wandered to Valden, and he noticed the various battle damage. Time for some maintenance, old friend. And here's to hoping you help my son chop wood. Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back from the chapter of the adventures of Partia Al-Eat in Bannerlord. The desperation of the Kuzate is apparent. Their attempt to claw back lost territory is weak, and their lords march in paltry numbers of young, untrained fighters. In many ways, Partia hopes that Montug would simply bend the knee and accept Partia as his sultan. Past grievances would be forgiven and forgotten to secure the future and the safety of all the people of the two realms. But as he dons his armor and familiarizes himself with his old friend made anew, the glint off Valdim's sharpened blade tells it true. Monchug's surrender would not come so easy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. There's not much to say. The aggression continues. We move towards Onira to take it, and en route, we hope to eliminate Lucan's army over here. If we're very lucky, this army will fall apart on the march, and we'll perhaps be able to convince some of these nobles to join us, if that's even an option. I do believe Ulug over here, we have previously spoken to, and uh, he was close, close to joining us, if memory serves me right. He is the leader of the Arkit clan, a clan that has almost been completely, wow, devastated. Died in battle. Never seen before. Okay, interesting. Died in battle. Also never seen before. Oh, okay, interesting. This is, uh... Well, this is strange. Ancient uh, heroes from uh, from the family, perhaps? Either way. Uh, it, it, you know, if we get very, very lucky. But I don't think luck will be on our side. Not, not quite like that, at least. Uh, there has been some suggestion from the council that I should instead move towards Vostrum that it would secure our back line as we sort of push forward all together at once. I definitely see the uh, the logic there, and I in many ways do agree with that uh, approach for sure. But part of the reason why I'm uh, moving up towards Onira is to stay somewhat closer to Erenix's army over here. I don't know how much of a difference it would really make, but as he moves up to uh, put Phycaon under siege, uh, I want to put Onira under siege and hopefully force the uh, Kuzate to choose between the two holdings. I'm hoping that most of the Kuzate lords are, you know, back at the steppe, and so on their way over, they'd be more likely to strike at me at Oneira first uh, before they go chasing after Erenix's army at uh, Phycaon. If I'm down at Vostrum, they might instead move towards Erenix, and, you know, I, I, I get the feeling he wouldn't do as well as we might. So I don't want to get too cocky, just, uh, just a gut feeling. And so we march on towards Oneira again with the hopes of eliminating this army. And eliminating further strength from uh, from the Kuzate. I don't know if we'll be able to catch them. We'll do the uh, good old-fashioned uh, one-two punch. Lek, send you forward. And with some Lek, you'll be able to engage this army over here. Oh, they they looked like they were tempting fate there for a moment. Right. Oh, hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. that's why. That's why. All right. Monchug himself marches south. Ah, uh, you know what? Altogether... 1150 versus... We outnumber them ever so slightly. And I do genuinely believe that we still outclass uh, the Kuzate. We dive in. If we can stop them here... Oh, if we can stop them here. Lek, what are you doing, man? Don't... <laughs> no, 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 no. Join me once more. Running from this party over here. Join me once more. We need to form up. That was not ideal. I could have engaged both of those armies at the same time. And... Uh, 
Oh, we might still be able to pull this off. No, dude, don't. It's not what I need from you, Lek. A grand mistake has been made here. All right, here we go. Besieging Dynastica. Oh, he's really giving chase, eh? Oh my god, we gotta move faster now. <laughs> that is not how I intended for that to work out, but you know what? It has worked out, and uh, and and in some ways this is better, actually, because we have two, four, six, seven parties over here that we'll be eliminating as opposed to just the, uh, the two in the other army. Now, what does worry me is that that is 300 soldiers that are marching over to face off against just under 600 of Erenix's, um army, uh, I, I assume. And I feel like Erenix will come out on top, but I don't know what that means for the Siege of Phycaon. I feel like he'll just run away, and that's unfortunate because I was really hoping for the uh, the, the efficiency uh, that that would bring for us. But anyway, we're here now. We engage Monchug in open battle. Let's hopefully uh, get a fair bit of damage done, and let's hopefully not take too many losses. Especially losses of a specific kind. Imperial trained infantrymen willing to join me. Sounds good. Just the one. Oh, did I see? Yeah, no. Just the one. All right. Fair enough. We've got decent numbers. We've got the numerical advantage. I, I, I do believe we have the quality advantage as well. Now, they do have some Darkhan, some Lancers, lots of Nomads. Yeah. Lots of Nomads is the uh, highest quantity, low quality troop I see. 17 because 8 footmen. All right. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Of course, we're helping Lex party. We're not going to just leave him. Uh, to, to, to die here. Uh, he's taken some losses already. Hopefully he'll recover them pretty quickly, but we will fight this ourselves. Balanced power is heavily in our favor, but again, things can still go horribly wrong. And we're not just going to auto-resolve a battle like this. Not one against Monchug. Not one that is so uh, numerous. <laughs> These are always fun. Um, Don't know about this battlefield. I don't know if the enemy is going to feel uh, so confident as to charge us. Let's find out. Uh, oh, it looks like there is a mound up over here, so let's go. The front cavalry push you up that way, horse archers up this way. Gotta slow down. Alright, archers, infantry, archers, let's go ahead and get you into a loose formation. Of course, there is a river up there. Will be challenging for them to cross, but I imagine they'll cross it pretty quickly if they're planning on doing it. Horse archers up there, cavalry up there. Go. Infantry has arrived, archers are arriving as well. A little bit further up for the archers. Infantry will send you forward afterwards if necessary. We're going to ride up with our cavalry and horse archers. I don't know if they're planning on engaging or what. Get the glaive out. Good stuff. Horse archers are firing away. They're forming up over there. The Valanian sharpshooters got a kill from back there. All right. Well done. Well done. Horse archers right up that way. Keep this nonsense shut down. Do not let them cross. At least not without a challenge. This is an interesting battlefield. Come on now. Loose, damn it, loose. Also loose formation. Sarchers keep moving. Cavalry up over here, horse archers over here, let's go. Don't want to get too adventurous either. We don't want to get caught out of position because there is a big rotation that's happened over here. Move up. Play easy shots, maybe. Cavalry up over here. Let's get the cavalry into a wedge formation. Horse archers now firing freely from up over here, I think. Looks like it. Yep. Come on now. Surely we'll get some kills in. I said surely we'll get some kills in. Nothing yet. Really, eh? I don't necessarily want to bring my entire army up over here be well out of position for uh, reinforcements, which I don't like, but looks like we're finally getting some kills now. Excellent. Good stuff. Look at that. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Gotta get ready to pull back. Look at those kills, though. Oh, my God. All right. Pull back. Let's go. Cavalry, follow me. Horse archers follow me as well. Asala got dropped there, unfortunately. Alright, horses over here. Horse archers over here. Go. Oh. Put the cavalry over this way a little bit. Horse archers start firing. 
I'm gonna up that way. Let's go. Well, let's go. Let's go. Rush him. Rush him. Rush him. Good stuff. All right. They pulled back. For us to pull back. For searchers pull back up to there. Within archers' range soon, I hope. Their archers are firing away. I was gonna pull away from that. Pulling back. Cavalry up over here. Let's go. Sharpshooters are starting to get some kills in. Good stuff. More horse archers up there. Move our cavalry up there as well. You can see them trying to like set up a flank or what have you. What is this cat? How have we not killed him yet? There we go. <laughs> Hey, good stuff. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Get a little bit of a higher vantage point over here so I can see things a bit clearer. There we go. First archers pull up and back a little bit. Cavalry is able to charge from here if necessary. Let's do it. I engage them in the water as well as out on the on the ground here. Doing all right. We're doing all right. Good stuff. Cavalry, pull back. We did drop some of their uh, nobles as well. That should help drop their morale. Doing all right. Doing okay. We're doing okay. One kill there. Cavalry charge. I'm gonna go ahead and try and shut down some of their archers as well. Ride them down potentially. There we go. One. That's right. Focus on me. Focus on me. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cavalry coming through. A lot of work over here. Our archers, our Valanian sharpshooters are getting so much work done. I don't think the front line's ever really engaged. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Cavalry charge free. Doing alright. We're doing alright. I think that went pretty well. A couple of losses here and there. That's to be expected, of course. Horse archers ride forward. Let's go. Eliminate what's left of them. I think we've done quite well over here. Aw, oh, really? What did we hit there? Dirt? Infantry charge as well. Shut down these archers. They're just kind of like... being left behind, and so they can fire pretty freely, unfortunately. Gotta make sure a lucky uh, arrow doesn't kill somebody. All it takes sometimes. Oh, did you see that guy get shot in the face? I'm pretty sure it was in the face. Doing well here. Archers are coming up. Yeah, excellent. Or rather, sorry, infantry's coming up. Keep missing over here. It's because I'm, uh, I realize I'm more distracted lately by the, uh, the top right corner of the screen. Pay a lot more attention up there than I should. Riders come up over here. Kind of spread themselves out a little too thin. We're doing okay though. Infantry has arrived now properly. Enforce archers. March up as well. Get the job done. Good stuff. Looking like a mass retreat over here. Najin was wounded. <laughs> I saw his name come up in red and my heart immediately stopped for a second. I should have should let my guy get the kill. Oh, 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 this is quite a few of them actually. Quite a few of them. This is why you can't just uh, send forces in charging. Warming up. Horse archers come up over here. Hold the line. Hold the line. Good stuff. Horse archers are coming up as well. Move our cavalry up too. Come on. Let these guys down. Doing alright. Yep, yeah, still doing okay. Okay. Oof. I was a little worried about that when I saw that massive... Uh, Massive clump of Kuzate uh, warriors there. I was a little little worried things were going to go horribly wrong for a moment. Oh, doing alright. That's safe, unfortunately. Infantry continuing their charge now. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Oh, come on. Yes, got him. <laughs> this was the tail end of my, uh, my glaive here. 
Alright, good stuff. Pretty sure we're done here. Infantry got a couple of more kills than I think. Ah, okay. Good stuff. Well done, men. One rider still decides to charge in up over there. If we can't get over there and finish that man off. I wonder if it's Monchuk. Ah, it was just a Kuzate horseman. Oh, the Han got him. Well done, men. Absolutely glorious. I have to look at the numbers. And the names. Hopefully no names. Okay, good. Yeah, we did I would say we did very well there. That was a that was a very fun fight. Only lost 46, 41 wounded. That's not too bad. Of the 46, I mean what kind of troops did we lose? We did lose some cavalry, some recruits here and there. Skirmisher, okay. Like tier what three skirmisher, I think. Uh the veteran foxman, that's a little unfortunate. Some light cav, a sharpshooter. Damn. I guess there must have been a little bit of melee at least. Like at the beginning when I said there it didn't look like there was. A couple of losses here and there. Mainly mid or low tier soldiers. Not too not too shabby. Don't feel too bad about this. I don't feel too bad about this. This was uh This was good. That was a fun fight. Good, clean. I think we did quite well. Again, we did outnumber them significantly, so it's not like it was gonna be uh that much of a challenge, but it's always nice having a fun like having a clean fight, you know, having a good fight. A uh, properly tactically executed fight is always a always a good time. Also, this is going to help the war effort so much. Look at that. We're tier six now, which is also pretty big. Uh, but look at look at the prisoners we've taken over here. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to get a sixth one over here. You're my prisoner, Radagast. What is that? Is that seven? Surin? I've lost count. I can't count that high. This is amazing. Do we have room for more? We do indeed. The Khan, I do like. The heavy horse archers. Tempting as it, as it is, I feel like maybe we should get more infantry. Our army as a whole... Oh, the Torgood we have to get. They, they become the Khan's guard. I feel like overall, this army altogether has a decent num amount of uh, infantry, but I do worry what happens if some of those infantry heavy um, parties have to leave us. I believe that's all we'll pick up. I picked up a noble son as well because they also become Khan's guard. Uh, we can leave behind some imperial archers and some imperial trained archers as well. And let's go ahead and pick up these heavy horse archers. Why not? That's at our limit. Feeling pretty good about that. Imperial legionary. You know what? I wouldn't mind a legionary. Let's go ahead and leave behind. We've got some lower tier options. This militia archers. Like, do we really need these guys? Eventually they might uh, join a garrison somewhere, but... I mean, come on. Pick you up. Pick you up. Get these guys. Sturgeons as well. Join us. We'll be holding their land soon. It might be good to get uh, familiar with their people. More horse archers, more trouble warriors, sure. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm honestly like... Let's leave the uh, militia behind. And of you. Give these 12 as well. I don't need to leave all of them, but I will. There you go. Cool. Very cool. All done here. We're looking good. We're looking good. Any upgrades? I believe we have some. Yeah, you're good. You are honestly... Man, okay. For real, though. These guys have served me well. These guys have served me well, but... So have these guys. I've always kind of, like, doubted them. I've always kind of doubted them. Stats wise, are the same. It's just the uh, equipment is very different. It's that shield that I always get drawn to, you know? That shield that always draws me in. I'm gonna stick with the uh, with the familiar. Got some more fan champions joining us as well. Excellent. Or upgrading fan champions. Oh, look at the colors. I love that it shows up over here. The Raider Warriors become Drusenic champions. I'm um, cavalry over here, more recruits, Imperial Infantrymen. Alright, looking good. Oh man. I wonder what the uh, peace opportunity is right now. Not that we're going to take it or push for it. And again, I don't think our council is very interested right now, all things considered. And I don't blame them either. I don't quite blame them either. I would still be paying a tribute. But look at these numbers though. Alright, good stuff. Now, I suppose we move up towards Onaira, and if we're lucky, we'll catch that other army. But we'd have to get very lucky. 
Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Okay, wonderful. We we need to get this to work because we need to uh, prevent them from preventing our other siege. Yo, Lek, man, come on. Lek, no! Don't do me dirty like this, man. Uh, okay, we could send uh, Asala. Got a decent uh, troop count over here. Alright, let's go. Seriously. They're gonna get away. Alright. Pull Asala back as well. Kind of cost me a little bit of uh, influence there, pointlessly, but it's not the end of the world. Up to Anira, maybe they'll respond. I feel like they're headed up to fight Kaon, and I feel like it might be a good idea to... just don't know. Part of me is tempted to go up there and help preemptively, you know? Oh. They focused on our task, and he'll stay focused on his, hopefully. You know what, Asala? I actually don't need you here. If anything, maybe go join them. I don't think they join up after an army has already formed, but... I don't know, if we're lucky or whatnot. Go recruit some more soldiers or do something. Do something. Should perhaps also let some of the other nobles roam free at this time. Because we don't need this large an army to, to take um take Onaira. Uh let's see. Zid. Anthuri and Sven. Yeah, everybody else stays with me. Arwa, Najin. I don't I, I I don't know if I can risk it, you know? <laughs> I just don't know if I can risk it. Tempted to send Isvan off as well? Sure. Why don't we do that? Having just taken um Monchug's massive army off the map, I feel a little comfortable doing this. It might be a bit of a risk. I just hope I haven't In some ways I would have preferred letting them loose closer to Dynastica, but you know what, too late for that. Put this town under siege. Let's go ahead and make... Look at that. Nadea of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner. Wonder where that happened. Wonder where that happened. Stick together or something. Really hope I haven't made a foolish mistake over here. Nadeo continues to gain stewardship skills as well. Uh, very soon, I think very soon, we'll go ahead and, uh, and and put him in charge of his own party. I also want to check clan tier 6. Is that the highest it gets? Oh, I guess so. I guess so. We have room for two companions, and I believe our party size is also increased a little bit by uh, by this uh, tier. Yeah, I really got to get those two parties uh, out ASAP. It's just I'm a little worried to reduce my own numbers and also send them out at the same time. I'll, I'll probably do it soon. I'll probably do it soon. I want to see a little bit more success in this uh, in this war first, I think. Just a little bit. The numbers are looking good. Our wounded are healing up as well. Relation decrease with... The oh, nice! We took Phycaon! Wonderfully done! Wonderfully done, Aranex. Alright, let's check really quickly. Wait, for real? I was expecting this number to drop significantly, and he's just going straight to Sessadime Castle to besiege now. Okay, awesome. Awesome. That's 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 fantastic. All right, great. Oh, I just don't know about. Um, hopefully, the election will come up soon, and somebody will drop off some soldiers. Soon. I don't know who we'll give it off to, but we'll give it off to somebody. Alright, that feels good. That feels very good. Vana has escaped. Nothing we can do about that, really. Owner of Phycaon. Who gets this beautiful city? Lek and Amalgan are both up for it. Lek has Poros and Ox Hall. Okay. And Amalgan has Varen Castle and Turby Castle. You know what? Lek has Poros. He has a city to his name already. Maybe Amalgan gets it. Amalgan's clan, De Cortain. Three members. Lek's clan. Vagaroving. Two members. I think it's only fair that Amalgan gets it. Isvan. Or Midoving. Three members. They recently got Lanakhen Castle. Many many of y'all many of y'all forget that this is the only clan that has been gifted uh, a fief. They have not been wronged. 
Uh, but Isvan just does not have the support of the council. He's also unable to pull enough support in himself. Uh, I'll be gifting them, don't forget, uh, Shibal Zimur Castle as well. So they will be getting another castle soon. But among Amalgan and Lek... Amalgan? I hate how that changes after you click. Like, why does it do that? No, we made our decision uh, already. 1% is not the end of the world. Amalgan. Do your best to, to defend this territory, please. Yeah, and they have a couple of members in that clan. Hopefully they'll, you know, make something of it. Do something with it. Actually defend it. Oh, nice, beautiful. This is exactly what I was talking about. Move you to reserves. Let's go ahead and, and pull in some reinforcements here. I know I sent them off, like, literally minutes ago. But if we've got 631 here already, who knows what else is marching towards us right now, right? Who knows what else is marching towards us right this instant. Okay, almost done here. Asla's joining in. Ah, uh, see what I mean? Again, quality-wise, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, they're outmatched, but... There's a tipping point between quantity and quality, and I don't want to find out where it is. Barter offer accepted. Nayantai has... No, 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 that was Achaku. Nayantai escaped. Achaku was ransomed. Nah. It does. I've been... It, I've seen a lot of conversation in, uh... In the comments about, like... There we go. That's what I thought. About the balance of... You know, prisoners and, and their, uh... Re release and their ransom and all that stuff and how it kind of plays out. It can be a little frustrating at times. It's like, well, let them, let me do something to keep them around for longer so that the advantage stays mine for longer, you know? Skolder brought for fighting alongside the Southern Empire. Great, that means they're not fighting alongside the uh, Kuzate. Yurik, Vashorki, and Haleya have all been taken prisoner. Beautiful. I assume by the other army. That's very good to see. And now, we fire here. We get to work. Get to it. Naira will be mine. 384 defenders. Be good here. We should be more than good. Come on now. Come on now. Drop these catapults and ballistae that they are joining in. Getting a little nervous about the numbers. Might not be unwise to bring Untheri in as well. With 128, it'll take him over a day. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Keep at it, keep at it. Okay, good. That army is fleeing or regrouping, right? One or the other. Good stuff. Break these walls. Might actually lose a ballista up over here. Because they spent a lot of time not firing at uh, at the uh, the active defense on the other side of the field. Another barter offer accepted. But that's, that's chump change compared to how much damage these guys will actually do uh, for our progress in this war. But it's okay, Radagas has escaped. But they're all just getting away now. We still hold Dynastica? Yes. From Falk? Yes, okay, good. I'm trying to get a little nervous. Right, these walls are almost done. These guys are close afterwards. Keep at it. Yeah, things are still looking good. Keeping an eye on, like, down here, up here, over here. Like, there's just so much stuff. So much stuff. Another... Are you serious, man? It's okay. I mean, at least their strength is still weakened. At least their strength is still weakened. There's Unthari arriving and scaring Ruma's army off. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, I do want to check on our other army, if it's still standing. Yeah, still traveling to Sestadime. They did take some damage in that battle where they uh, got a couple prisoners, I think. We're okay. Oh, but they is back over here. Pulling away again. Doing a little double check on, on the strength of our army, I think. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that quest as well. No big deal. Besieging Dynastica. Okay, well. We'll be done here soon, and then we'll charge down to protect Dynastica, of course. We'll be done here very soon. There it is. Beautiful. You're not even, like... You're barely out of uh, eyesight. All right, let's get to it. I believe we have a couple of upgrades available. You, you, 
you any prisoners? Oh yeah, quite a few prisoners actually willing to join us. Pull almost everybody in. Counts will stay. Gankly will stay. Sturgeon Woodsman. Sturgeon recruits. An opportunity to train. And I guess an opportunity to practice with a new Valdim. Alright, let's do this. I believe I'm properly equipped. I've got my glaive. It's fine to still have the glaive on. That's fine. We'll just not use it. Valdim will hopefully come in handy over here. Uh, yeah, let's dive in. Lead an assault. Yeah. I can't imagine this will be too problematic. But, again, I don't want to get too cocky, right? And again, it's been it's been suggested that I give a charge command right off the bat so everybody moves in. Um, definitely something to consider. I just want to make sure the battering ram does get pushed up as well, though, because when that battering ram breaches the, the gate, uh, it does cause mayhem. I just want to make sure we do still get that. Sorry, I'm just going to auto-deploy again. I just feel like I didn't. By the way, I just want to point out that um, anytime I break the walls, I am not able to use siege towers as well. I saw a comment with regards to, like, uh, you know, using siege towers in these uh, in the siege battles, uh, the assaults, rather. Um, the reason why I don't is because I typically breach the walls, and the siege towers attach, I guess, at the same spot as those breaches, so the game lets you do one or the other. Well, that's why you see these X's over here. This is where the siege tower would be. Uh, the battering ram, though, of course, the gate is not uh, not breached, so the battering ram still works. Um, feel like, oh, you know what? I could go either way over here. I think I'm here. So I might, I might actually swing over this way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's begin. All right, in we go. Balled him out. Oh, it's weird not having to press X to go into two-handed mode. Looks like our men are all charging forward, so that's promising. Oh, jeez. That sharpshooter's already getting some work done. Nice. Of course, this doesn't happen cleanly. Hop over these guys still. Off the horse and to work. Do they have any archers? They have a couple archers coming through over here. Like point blank range. Down you go. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Beautiful. Definitely swinging faster, that's for sure. Alright, good stuff. Got a little distracted by all the red up at the top corner. Honestly, these new updates that make it so easy for uh, nobles to die just have uh, <laughs> really changed how I approach battle sometimes. So then got dropped, alright. Here we go, here we go. Rothion got dropped. Nice, good stuff. We're doing alright. Beautiful. Down with you. Leading the charge over here. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Took a couple of knocks there. We're doing alright. Oh. Here we go. This flank now. Still working away, still chopping away. Doing okay. How do the overhead swings in this kind of a crowd, really? Ah, we've been locked out by our own warriors. Can't blame them for their excitement. Very well done, men. Charging up the towers. Alright, fair enough. See what's left to fight. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Well done, men. That was smooth. That felt very smooth. That felt too smooth. What went wrong? Reveal to me what went wrong. Well. It's only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. It's so... So conflicting to read these words and hear the cheering in the background. 
And I know, I know, I can see the comments already. I can see it already. See, we told you, you should have put Ottawa as a governor. You should have kept her away from the front. I, I know, I can see, I can see it already before you type that comment out. But remember, she was a warrior. That was part of the reason why we wanted to marry her. It was part of the reason why our, you know, budding romance, well, became what it became. Who, who would we be to stop her from, uh, from participating in battle like her own brothers and sisters, like her friends, like her fathers, like her brother-in-laws, her, her, her sisters-in-law, her sons and daughters of the future? Who are we to stop her? Man. It's only a matter of time. That's, uh... That hurts. That hurts. Um... Oh man, 35 lost, but, you know, feels like a thousand. 45 wounded. 55 have leveled up. Man. I was, uh, part of me was hoping that we would make it through all the way to the end, the two of us alive, fighting. Not, you know, again. Not, uh, not the safe way, just staying in, uh... Staying back and governing a town, but, uh... Such is life. Such is life. We went down fighting. Killed four. Man. That's rough. That's rough. I knew it. It was that gut feeling. I was like, this was too easy. Something, the game has taken something from me. It has given me this city, but it has taken something from me. And of all the names I caught in the top right corner, I thought it was, was the one I missed. But, at that point, what could I do about it? What could I do about it? I'm glad at least that she died a warrior's death. Again. Part of the reason why we married her, and it's it's fitting that she go fighting. It I think embodies our relationship in many ways. We were joined by that uh, sort of warrior's heart, as it were. I mean, for 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 Partia, it was a. It, it, I guess it was almost foreign, right? Because as, as a merchant's kid with a desire to be a warrior, uh, the closeness to Ottawa perhaps was a way to learn or be inspired. Fought together, rebelled together, had children together, and raised many more children than the one they had entire sultanate of the Ishkas. All of the Ishkasi people are our children after all. But all good things must come to an end. All good things must come to an end. Question is, how does this change our hero? Is this the ultimate price? Or something else the ultimate price, you know? Isn't everything the ultimate price. One thing after another, man. Just one thing after another. Only a matter of time. That's all the prisoners we're picking up. Man. <laughs> How do you move on from that? Ottawa has died in battle. Ottawa was an Amira of the Ishkas. She died in battle in 1104 at the age of 43. She was reputed to be clever and roguish. Do not forget her generosity. Do not forget her valor. Look at these look at these stats though. This, this is this is our governor? Nah, not a chance, man. This is a warrior. A warrior queen. A warrior sultana. Calling her an Amira is also doing her a disservice. Uh, again, for those that don't know, Amir, they, these are ranks of uh, of nobility. She would be a sultana. 
married to the Sultan. But, um... Damn, man. Damn. Damn. She joined Partia in a war against potentially her oldest friend. Definitely her oldest friends. Including Kareth. Man. Remember Adram? I'm legitimately uh, saddened. Ex-spouse? Hey man. What the hell? That's some nonsense. Not ex-spouse. Widower, if, if anything. Widower, is that, would that be the right term? For uh, the one that survives, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like ex-father, ex-mother, ex-child. 43, though. She was not very old. We're 51. Our children of Thab is 13. Adahab Jadid is 10. Etama is 8. Children will never get to know their mother. Man. All right. As that as that music cues us out, they we I guess we uh, bid farewell to Ottawa. Ah, oh, I love that this note is still here. Ottawa married Partia, spring 1910-88. Anaira is ours. The tavern district, no one to recruit. To, uh, town management, seems like a pretty well upgraded town actually. Train the militia here, we must hold this ground. And to the garrison next. Need to leave some troops behind. Again, somebody else will be the uh, caretaker here, but um, I want to make sure it doesn't get easily picked off as we rush down south to protect Anestica, obviously. The militia, brigands, a lot of low or mid-tier troops we can drop behind. Again, we'll pick up more recruits soon enough, right? Like, I'm not too concerned about that. Go, some asteroid archers as well, more Mamluk soldiers, planning footmen, some militia over here. What are we looking at? 27? Definitely not enough. Build infantrymen. This whole organization has gotten messy again, by the way. Extremely messy. We haven't had a chance to clean it up in a while. Probably do that sometime soon. Like between sessions, obviously. I don't like I don't like taking up session time for that. Man, really, how do you go on after what just happened? This is a uh, <laughs> Difficult to keep the pace up. These guys become the Drisnik champions, eh? Uh, I think we'll keep them around. Sturgeon warriors. Do want those heroic line breakers, but I gotta leave something behind. Mamluk guard, perhaps. Sea raiders again. Drisnik champion potential. Just the one, though. Fine, you know. Let's leave them behind. Again, numbers help as well, right? Just when the enemy sees a large garrison, they uh, they 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 steer clear. We're just talking about Najin and Arwa and like being safe, not to let them go away and, and, and recruit and potentially get ambushed. I still stand by that decision, obviously. That could have just as easily happened, and then I'd feel even worse. At least, uh, we died on the same, like, at least we were on the same battlefield when, when she died. Um, Danian picked warriors, sure. By the way, if you're gonna, if you're gonna mention her death in the comments, uh, Try to leave a bit of a spoiler gap, I guess. You know, like hit, say something, like spoiler warning, and then hit enter a couple times. And typically you shouldn't read comments before you watch the video, but I, you know, I know many people like to like leave comments as they watch, which is, makes complete sense, so just, uh, just in everybody's best interest, I suppose. That was certainly a moment. Leave these trained warriors behind. Clan warriors as well, sure. 54 plus 2, 56. Okay, okay. Surgeon Spearmen. Again, we can't leave riders behind, so we're we're changing our composition again to favor uh, horses. But I suppose that's good enough. We could leave behind a few master archers, Altine Guard, these Kazate marksmen, sure. 
and one Valandian sharpshooter to bring it down to around 20. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Cool. So now they have a garrison of 65, which is something. The militia will grow as well over time. Um, and then whoever we, we decide to hand this off to will, uh, will of course, uh, drop off troops and stuff as well. Any prisoners to pick up? A couple over here. I don't know if they're worth taking. I mean, we have no... Uh, oh, damn, I'm actually over my limit right now. Great. Fantastic. By how much? By about 20. 15. Let's leave behind the Sturgeon Woodsman, Ardent Brigand. We'll also leave behind, what? We have a lot of raiders, right? Yeah, we can leave behind a few of these guys. And we can leave behind some of these horse archers, because we have the heavy horse archers in their stead. A few heavy lancers? Nah. Let's drop off these tribal warriors. Actually, you know what? Gonna get these lancers back, or these horse archers back, sorry. There we go. Couple of these tribal warriors, yeah, good stuff. Done. Done, moving on. Question is, where to? Lucan's army over here is right outside. They will almost certainly attack Onyra immediately. How do we engage them? Will we get dropped? Oh, nice, beautiful. I was gonna say, do we get dropped off closer to them? But unfortunately, I think we're all the way down over here. We have to rotate. They got enough food and stuff as well. Maybe I should have actually picked up some food. Those guys are headed down to domestic area. All right, let's see if we can't and lek forward. Go in the right direction, buddy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go, go, go. Really unfortunate. Probably to Poros over here. Don't know when, like. Thing is, when Dynastica does get put under siege, we'll have some time to respond, of course. Just a matter of... Timing. I think Lex finally going to engage. Yes, he is. Okay, excellent. We're engaging up over here, down south. Dynastica is still safe. Oh, beautiful. Up Lex party, of course, after we check our own party over here a little bit. And he's still wounded. And prisoners? Yeah. Or good willing to join us. Good stuff. Tor, good stuff. And get rid of this and this stack of Alia, Fatid, and Arwa. Kill me. Okay, let's help Lex party here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. The battlefield. Seek out uh, vengeance, I suppose. Oh, man. Strange battlefield. Very strange battlefield. I don't know how well this will work out. Marching right away. Yeah, what the... What, what, in, what in God's name is this battlefield, even? The archers up over here. Cavalry up over there. Let's go. Into a wedge, infantry up over here. Alright, okay, interesting. Four archers are coming up. Cavalry. Charge. Alright. In we go. Being a little careless, perhaps. I would say we have cause. I would say we have cause. Tholag just got dropped, excellent. Be careful now, be careful. Archers have arrived. Horse archers down over here, cavalry up over here, let's go. Doing well, doing well. Infantry move up. This is a very, very, very strange battlefield, but I'll take it. I think our archers will have a field day from where they stand right now. Horse archers over here, cavalry down over there, let's go. The horse archers are getting adventurous again. I've got a good vantage point too, which is nice. Charge in. Horse archers move up a little bit. Here we go. Good stuff. 
Very good stuff. Gotta stay careful though, so I get too ahead of ourselves. I want their archers to... Look at that, look at that positioning on their side as well. Nice to see. Very nice to see. Alright, we've done well. Horse archers, creep forward. A couple of kills in, and then maybe we can draw them out, right? Pull them out. Our archers will have a most wonderful time. In fact, moving a little bit further up. Horse archers in a loose formation as well, please. Cavalry up a little bit. I'll just pull back. Looks like they are... I was like, looks like they're getting aggressive, but I guess not. I loop around. And I'm on shield side, aren't I? Cavalry up over here. Our searchers pull up. Cavalry up this way, let's go. Give him hell. Searchers keep pulling up this way, let's go. Cavalry over here. Again, they're charging a little too freely. Oh, don't you dare jump off that cliff. Okay, good. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice, tie them down. Archers are firing, I believe. Well enough. Right, excellent. Horse archers. Move you up top over there. Cavalry pull back. Actually, you know what? Push you through there. Try and shut down their archers. Trying to take some losses. I don't like that. Push, push, push. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Horse archers back over here. Keep pulling you up there. Firing away from up over here as well. We're doing alright. Good stuff. Cavalry charge. Seems to be going okay. Horse archers pull you down to there. Let's go. How are our archers doing? Pull you guys back. Entry charge. Taking more losses than I'd like right now. Cavalry pull away. It's just because the cavalry decides to get distracted by, um... Distracted by, like, certain soldiers, and so archers are able to freely fire into their backs. This infantry charge is hopefully doing the job. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. We seem to be doing okay now. Yeah, we seem to be doing okay. Nasala got dropped. Infantry full on charge right now. Archers up over here. Let's go. Infantry hold the line here. Cavalry pull back, I guess. I don't... Doing alright. Those archers pulled away a little bit. Archers now able to fire freely again. Infantry charge. Lek got dropped. Those archers are killing me, man. Those archers are absolutely killing me. The infantry is closing the gap now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Excellent. 39 horses. Ridiculous. Alright. Battle is done. The battle is done. Oh man, that guy got a beat down from like all sides. What's left? A couple soldiers here and there. Alright, fair enough. One more down. A couple more over here. Normally I let my troops finish them off, but certainly a little bit of pent up rage right now. <laughs> At least a little bit. Oh, that tree. There we go. Didn't stop me. Well done, man. Wow. Luke and his fallen. One for another. 55 lost in this battle, 35 wounded, 51 have leveled up. Decent fighting, I would say. Not too bad. Lost more than I would have liked, actually, I'll be honest. Again, the, uh... I don't like using the charge command on the cavalry. They get overexposed to archers, and they don't ride the archers down. And I, even when you like give an order, you have to stay on them. Like if you give a move order into archers, you have to stay on them, constantly giving those move orders. 
to stay on the enemy archers. It's always a, I need to avoid that kind of exposure uh, more cleanly in the future. I think so. It's a it's a it's a common theme. I just need to figure out how to like avoid it. Oh, Lucan has fallen. Another uh, Kuzate lord off the map, I suppose. Thulag has been taken prisoner as well. Lek has defeated Lucan's party. Right, I, I guess technically. <laughs> I guess technically. Prisoners, we are over capacity, actually. I don't think... Are there any... Yeah, it's wild. They still have decently... Like, it's a decent quantity of trained troops here. Any nobles, sons, or... Kankli, or any Torgood, or anything like that? Yes. Kankli. And noble son. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and leave behind a couple tribal warriors. In fact, you know what? Let's drop off all the tribal warriors. <laughs> wow, okay. That takes us to our limit. I was just wondering if I wanted to pick up some lancers. Nah, you know what? I think we're fine as we are. I think we're fine as we are. Can we level up? Go ahead and get you, and you leveled up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Pick up all the loot, of course. Well below our limit over here. Wow. The entire clan was wiped out there. De Gunric. Valandians. Lucan was a beg of the Kuzates. He died in battle in 1104 at the age of 48. He was reputed to be decent and kind. It did not have to end this way, Lucan. It did not have to end this way. Could have been allies. De Gunric could have prospered, but no. Another army. Our own still stands. Still uh, asking for tribute, and still no support for peace from the council. My Kaon is ours. Sestadim, or Sestadim Castle, sorry, is under siege. Looking like they're not going to let up over here either. The battering ram just got built. We've taken Anaira. Perennia Castle is tempting. It is right here. It is quite tempting. Uh, let's go ahead and get Lek to rejoin us before... Oh, who did I send... Who did I send off? I thought I... Oh, right. He, I already had him rejoin us, but that's why he, he got pulled in. Right. Excellent. Um, Tempting to go up to Karenia Castle. The Nustica is not under siege right now. Neither is Hassan Fuck. Initially, our plan was to... uh take Odrissa Castle, because then we'd have, you know, kind of a a more fluid growth over here. Odrissa, Vostrum, and Morenia Castles seem like better next targets than Korenia Castle, because then that kind of like thins us out a little bit. Uh, and to be frank, this is also not the cleanest. Our next war, when the time comes to get peace with the Kuzate and declare a new one, our next war should be against the Western Empire. Join our... Uh, our, uh, our territory properly. You know, we need to take uh, Zionica, Onica, Amatatis. As long as we grab Sestadam Castle, or Sesta, Sesta Dame Castle, sorry, as well, uh, we'll have full control over the uh, the sea over here. That'd be quite cool. And look at the progress by the Batanians. We pushed them out of Valandia. They pushed the Kuzate back right out. Wow. Kranarog Castle still stands, as does Revel and Us Ustokol Castle as well. Interesting. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I'm kind of... Am I, am I torn? What's the garrison here? 418 defenders. More than Oneira had, but not anything that we can't take on. Most of them are militia as well. But we've seen the cost of a siege. We've seen the potential cost of a siege. Down back at Odrissa Castle, what would it do for us? Give us Kyra as well. We'll maybe buy us some more... Uh, room here. We'll also bring us back to closer to settlements that might need a little bit of defending. Vostrum is a little bit further out, but it does help connect the, like, close the gap to Lycaron and, and prevent a surprise <laughs> rear entry, if you will. Tempting, tempting. My council, I turn to you. What do you think? Perennia Castle, which I think is probably the least ideal option despite our proximity to it. Odrissa Castle, Vostrum, or Morenia Castle. I think it's probably between Odrissa Castle and Vostrum. 
and depending on which one we take, the next step would either be Erzanur Castle or Morenia Castle, and then Odok, or uh, we'd be done here. Hmm, Vostrom is starting to make more and more sense at this time. So it does pull us away from the potential defense of Dynastica and Hassan Fuck. Folks, let me know what you think in the comments down below. For now, though, I still can't believe what happened to Onira. That's the session, folks. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Pay your respects, of course, to the Fallen Warriors. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.